Another day, another Xeno Saga video. Just a fair warning that this is probably the most boring part of the game and maybe even the entire series, just this one long dungeon we're about to do. But I hope you will stay tuned and keep watching regardless, because there's still a lot of really cool things, and of course my content is amazing and you should appreciate it anyway. Okay, let's get into the video. That was the planet. That was destroyed. Or they thought was destroyed by the Zohar and all that stuff. Or at least disappeared, not destroyed. Come here, buddy. Come here. Are you in range? Okay, cool. Thought he wasn't gonna get affected by that for a second. Please stand down. I don't want I don't want blood Why is Ziggy still in the park? I think it. Whatever, it'll be fine. We'll do one fight without coach. My mistake. I'll die from this. Yeah. Nice not crits on a crit turn. Chaos. Ready? Good job. Lunar seal. All right, let's change up our party now before we make any more Is mistakes okay? here. Nice two points. Thank you for that. All right. Battle formation, sorry. They like making everything really confusing. Goodbye, Ziggy. Formation. No. Change with him. There we go. Yeah. Yes. She's not gonna be on the outside for now. I'll probably put her behind Cosmos later. Yes, I want to accept. Stupid menus. Um Alright, so tech attacks. Cosmos got a new tech. All right, so we got our drill now. So here's the thing about our drill. It costs more to level up. A lot more to level up. And to be honest, it's not that much better than our blade. So we're just going to stick with our blade for now because what I'm planning to do is we're going to use a bunch of tech points on Cosmos here because there is something I really want to do with her. So similarly to how I just used like all of my ether point upgrades on... Shion last time to um, make sure we could get boost one on both her and Chaos and Medica all on Shion. We are going to give the tech frame up to Cosmos there. The tech upgrade at least. Because one thing we are going to want to do right now, and this is the only time I'm going to do this for a while because we're going to boost stats after this. I want to get our blades speed. So if we, if we upgrade speed, change it to low to high, that allows us to use a tech attack every single turn. We can use the tech attack we have upgraded every single turn if we set it to the proper menu, and that is what we are essentially going to do here. So, I'm not worried about doing this for our cannon, because the next major boss fight, our blade's going to be more effective. So that's why we're doing that. So, we can set our blade to near. I don't think we can set it to far. Yeah, because it's a close range attack. So now we can um, use a tech attack every single turn we have with Cosmos. So that's really good. She has 54 tech points remain remaining. Let's um, check some stuff here. So I don't have any more tech points to upgrade Chaos Ether attack yet to start boosting them off each other. But I can upgrade Ether defense if I want to. I think I'll wait on that for now. We'll save a little bit of tech points. Hold on. One more thing while I'm thinking about it. Cosmos physical vitality is 31. Ziggy is 28. 40. So yeah, Chaos has the highest vitality. That's pretty good, actually. Good physical defense. Xion's tech points. What do I want to do with them? She has 317. Hmm. Upgrading her stats isn't that useful, I don't think. Oh, wait, I know, I know. I know why here. The vitality rating's not correct, technically, because the, of the equipment. I haven't given Cosmos the new equipment I bought for her. 
These menus are really confusing at times, I swear. So, we got D of unit V3, that'll bring it to 4, because never mind, she does have the highest physical defense, too. <laughs> should have known, should have known. Now, Ziggy might actually have the highest if you assume that his armor is not. Plus 3. Never mind, I think Cosmos is slightly higher. She would be at... No, she's at 27. Yeah, she's at 27, Ziggy's 25. Alright, I don't really care about that. But Cosmo, she has the white ring for now, which is going to give her the extra agility that's really good on her. Let's see if there's anything else we can do. Coat Beam. Our Brace. I think... I don't know if Beam or Ice Coat is going to be more useful right now. I don't remember if there's any ice attacks in the near future, or beam attacks. Let's see. So, Xion... Do you have enough EP to pass... Medic? No, you don't. You need 120 for that. I want to pass that to Chaos next, because that's going to be really useful to get on him later. What about you? What can we get on you? I don't remember what path gives me what I'm looking for. So we'll wait for now. I want to get her ether attack up one that like doubles her ether power, but I don't remember what path that is. I wish they'd just tell me before I upgraded. But I think we're good for now. I think we'll go with this setup for now. We don't need to worry about anything else in the immediate future, at the very least. So we have Cosmos back finally, that's nice. There's no trap right here, so I guess we'll just go into this fight. Okay. Go. So, let's see what we got here. Alright, let's just show an example of how good Cosmos is now. We got boost one, let's pass that to Cosmos here. I just want to have some fun really quickly, so we'll be doing something really cool here. On Chaos, we have the same thing. Boost one. Let's see what let's see what Cosmos is. Let's see what so, if we do punch, we can immediately go into our blade now. Uh, let's hope she crits. Nice try critical, very nice. And now we can basically just boost her up and use our blade any turn we want to. Now, I think these enemies are weaker to ether attacks, actually, but... I just wanted to show that at the very least. Yeah. Turn. Let me check to make sure. Yes, our cannon will do significantly more. I actually think Cosmo can kill him right now with just this. Yeah, okay, cool. And that's just fine, because Shion and, and Chaos can do some stuff with that. The R Blade is going to be more useful for the boss of this chapter than anything. Cosmos has a me costume, that would be sad. That would be really sad. Really sad, actually. Alright, so being able to use our blade every turn can be useful later on. It's not that useful against certain... It depends on what their weaknesses are. This this enemy right here is obviously weaker to ether attacks, which is fine. So we'll use stick to that. Before we head on, let's make sure I'm not missing anything. Destroyable rock. Got a biosphere. Am I going to steal the kind of? St I don't think I have the steal ability right now. I went. I went for a different path for Shion, so she doesn't have steal currently. Honestly, I can get all the main accessories I'm looking for later on. Anyway, I already have White Ring, which is like the best accessory in the game. So, thank you, Ziggy, for coming with that for free. Cooper's effect active. No system. I don't think you can use two tech attacks in the same turn, though, can you? And you always get four AP per turn, so it's not like it's... I, I guess it could give you two different tech attacks if you don't have, like, a high-speed one and you want to use a low-speed one. 
So this is a cathedral ship. It does feel like we're inside a ship, but it certainly doesn't look like anything that belongs to the Federation. Could it be an alien ship? I wonder. Look, over there. What is it? A sign or something? Hey, it's written in English! But this is odd. It doesn't look like it's stuck on the wall. Doesn't it look more like a part of the wall itself? Are you saying this sign is part of the Gnosis? How could that be? Take a look around. That's not the only one. There's a lot of other stuff here, too. Are we... really inside a Gnosis? Hurry! He'll be gone soon! Huh? What, did you find something? Huh? Uh, no. No, it, it's, it's nothing. That girl again. What does she have to do with this place? At this time, the defendant's origins are unknown. That information was lost in the chaos of war, perhaps deliberately, I might add. It could be said that the circumstances surrounding the defendant actually qualify him as a victim of the life recycling law. Therefore, is it right for him to be the first victim of a capital punishment system that had been abandoned for thousands of years? It's true that the defendant must pay for his crimes, but with all the progress we've made in science and the study of the human psyche, surely there must be alternative means by which he can repay society? Please, I ask you to make a merciful and wise decision. This court hereby sentences the defendant, Andrew Cherenkov, to undergo level 7 personality reconditioning. With this ruling, the current you will cease to exist. But it also marks the birth of a brand new world for you. Let us celebrate, shall we? What is the meaning of this? Why can't we have a child of our own? Oh, stop it. What could you want to leave behind? Don't tell me you want that abnormal DNA of yours to live on. Nanotechnology is hardly perfect, you know. It still can't correct mutations in genomes. Are you saying this is my fault? <laughs> You're pathetic. A bit of nucleic acid desperately clinging to life. You haven't changed one bit since then. But of course, that's what makes you, you. But then, why did you marry me? For this. Do you know how hard I worked for this permit? That's why I volunteered to care for you. What, did you think there was love between us? Please, don't kid yourself. I can get all the love I need with this. <clears throat> Don't forget to take your meds. After all, I'm the one who'll be held responsible if you don't. with Federation law, the defendant will now undergo level 8 personality reconditioning. With this, defendant 12584's human rights shall be revoked, and henceforth the defendant shall be treated as a life form belonging to the Federation. According to current law, this treatment grants the bearer the same rights and privileges as those of a realian.
garbage. I must admit, I've never seen such a stubborn neural network. He's even rejected the level 8 procedure. In any case, he's still quite valuable to us. We can use him as a test subject for the level 9 procedure. So you're the man who murdered every worker in this facility, and annihilated three squads of Federation Special Forces. I was looking forward to meeting you. But you... You look like a poor little stray. Is this really your handiwork? A life recycling variant. No wonder the Federation police couldn't handle you. I'll commend you for that. However... <laughs> Reality is cruel, is it not? Commander Margulis, the 308th Volgata Division is... I know. We're taking him with us. Sir! You're not serious. Yes, this one may be useful. But... All you ever wanted in life was to leave behind a legacy. Isn't that right? Now show me the proof of your existence. To me alone. All right, well, a lot just happened there. We just got a lot of Sharon Cobb's backstory. Basically, he was put on trial and was forced to undergo personality reconstruction surgery to, like, completely shut off his current, like, neuroactivity and, like, make him to someone completely different. Um, some woman that was supposed to be taking care of him because of that procedure ended up, up taking advantage of him to marry him and get, like, access to, like, some government stuff or something. And the ability to clone herself, so... Sharenkov gets really angry at her when you saw that, when he thought that she didn't marry him because she loved him, but because she was using him. And so he kills her, and then he gets sent back to trial. He goes under a stronger level of personality reconstruction surgery. And even after that, it didn't seem to be that effective. And he finds the cloned version of his wife that was now a child being in the street, and she called him garbage, and Sharenkov goes crazy again and kills the child, and... Then he gets put in jail again. They're going to talk about how they're going to experiment on him more, but then he just kills everyone and Margulis finds him. Very cool. And Margulis is a really cool villain, as you can see. I like I like Margulis a lot. He's really nice. I turned the volume down this time, so hopefully the combat music won't be tilt so loud this time. I completely forgot to do that before. I want to use the trap on you. Please walk over there. Jeez. Oh, Go away! Walk faster in the other direction, please. There we go. I think that's gonna count. Before we fight this next enemy. Um, how many points do you have right now? 48. That's not enough to get Ether Attack, is it? Um, how much does Cosmos have again compared to you? 30. Yeah, we've got a little ways to go before we can boost Chaos all the way up there. That's fine. That's fine. All battle systems are go. So I don't think... I don't know if these are weaker to physical or not. Let's find out, I guess. Yeah, okay. And this is the usefulness of having our blade on high. For enemies that are weak to physical attacks, you can just wreck them in one turn very quickly. 
And every time Cosmos is available, she can do the same thing. For example, how much does Ether do to you guys? Not much at all. Okay. For example, if I use Chaos's boost on Cosmos right here. Then that was not the right move. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Never mind. I pressed the wrong button. That's fine. Not a big deal. I haven't used Chaos as physical attack as much, but he does have them. Alright. Physical attack Xion, always good. Points times two, cool. I need to listen to these post-battle dialogues, some of them are really funny. And I want the stream to hear them. Yes, he contact. He had contact with the Zohar and the Gnosis, so he's going to have a little bit of weird things about him. Before we continue on, let's make sure we're getting everything. Alright, nothing else over here. Now let's go. There's no traps here, so we'll just go into the fight. If you're not planning to use egg eggs anyway. If you are planning to use eggs, you can do a couple different strategies, but eh, not really needed. Well, I was supposed to use that for that fight. Oops. Oops. That's fine. That's fine. Five enemies, huh? That could be a little dangerous. Alright, we'll handle this the safe way, then. He'll get one attack off. It's just a sleep move, so we don't have to take any damage the rest of this battle. That's easy. Well, thank you for watching during your um, school. I do appreciate it. All right, cool. I wish we were getting more tech points. We'll be able to grind some later if we're missing any, but I just wish we were getting slightly more from this. Um, why? That's a good question. Tanned coat fire. That'll reduce damage to fire attacks. Is there anything over here? I guess not. Okay. Let's head back. Alright, next area. Just got a building in the middle of Gnosis headquarters. In the side of a Gnosis, there's just a random building. There's a ladder inside of a Gnosis. Does the area look really dark? This is kind of a dark area. Because you're inside the Bionis interior here, to say. Dang it, I wasn't close enough. I was mashing the button. Oh well. Well, there's four enemies. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna need that, probably. Let's play this safe. Play this safe. No, you don't have to escape back. I meant to use your goodbye skill. It's just a dark area. They might have changed it on email. I don't know. Give me that bonus. Cosmos, let's go. 10, 12, 4. Alright, items. Fortunately, I have plenty of ether packs. He has life shot. I wonder if she has enough to get anything used. Uh, 
Use life shot. See, since I'm not planning on using Momo in combat, I can use her Ether ability outside of combat to heal. Isn't that wonderful? Hmm. We don't need anything from you yet. Do you have... Yes, you do. Perfect. Give that to Chaos. He will, he will appreciate that. Thank you. Medical is way better than healing do. Way better than healing do. And with Chaos's higher ether, that's pretty useful too. Um, okay. That's pretty much... Shion has now outlived her usefulness, pretty much. I could give her some other skills, but it's not really necessary. I The main things I wanted was to, to get this and then pass them to Chaos, but... We'll have to, actually, she won't, she, I still need to pass boost one to a couple more characters. I want to pass it to Junior as well, so we'll have to get 180 points on her later. But for now, we're good. Alright. Characters, chaos. There's T points. Ether attack. Boost that up more. Oh yeah, Cosmo's really good. Cosmo's really good in this game. Treasure chest. Revive Diet Deluxe. Got a lot of good stuff here. That's all for now, though. I think it's about time we head back to where we were. And continue on our quest. I would like to get through this section today. If I can. We got... Well, I, I'm not really on any kind of timer. I just usually didn't want to make the streams longer than four hours. But if we don't get past it, maybe I will. Because I've been fighting a lot. Because I'm trying to get both experience and tech points. And ether points and skill points and all that stuff. For some reason. Okay. What's over here? Stuff we can destroy. I believe there's a mini boss in this area somewhere. I want to make sure I find that. There's also a decoder and like a segment address also. I guess it's down this way. Even if we mess, we can always come back for it anyway. No traps, we'll just fight it. May all your souls... Nice five points. Yes, Cosmos is really good here. What I'm saying. She hurts mo the most on both physical and ether attack side. She's so good. She's so good, man. Isn't this where I just was? Operate all of us an elevator inside of Gnosis. I eh, know, not quite. This gets me to a different area, too, doesn't it? That other area is the one I just came from. Let me check to make sure. I think it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. Should have came around the other way first. All right, let's keep going. Um, let me use Momo to heal Shion before we get into the next battle. We don't want to have her randomly die like she did that one time. All right, fine. Please don't be five enemies this time. It's five enemies. It's five enemies. We really don't have time for this. Y'all don't even give that much. Uh, we'll just run away from this one. I really don't feel like fighting another five enemy one. <laughs> Maybe if I had my AoE attack, but I don't have them yet. Once we get our AoE attacks, I'll be more... I will welcome a more enemies. For now, no thank you.
I like fighting these a little bit more, I think. They're less annoying. Get out of, my way. of course, there's two fairies. At Gosh, man. Her external appearance is down 5%. She needs cleaning. Um, yes, this way. Stairs inside a Gnosis. Cool. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Run it. No, I disappeared. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Why is it? I hate you guys. She's just so good. You know what? I am going to do the um, funny thing where I give her more ether attack. Because why not? That sounds like a fun time. Characters. Use T points. You can't boost anything right now. Pain. Why do you have the maximum? That's so annoying, dude. Okay, um, let's see. Xion, Xion. Give me that ether attack. No, I might save at least 200 tech points. Um, I don't know if I want to upgrade spell raise speed. I don't think it really matters. We're not gonna be using Xion that much after this anyway. I'll probably I'll just keep upgrading her Ether Attack for now, just so she'll have a way to do that one fight where you have to use her later. She's more supportive anyway. I don't really need to worry about anything. Keep upgrading that Ether Attack, Xion. Yes, twenty-eight Ether Attack. We just got six Ether Attack on Xion. Now she might actually do more damage. Went from 22 to 28. That's actually pretty significant of an increase. And I'm lost now. I think I'm supposed to go this way. Yep. Okay. Wow, that didn't give me anything. Then go up. Did I really just go over there for no reason? There's the mini boss. That looks exactly like the mini boss. I gotta figure out how to get over there. Ah, okay, that's how. Easy. Okay, let me make sure we're healthy before doing that. Um, Ether. Momo. Alright, cool. I wish there was a save point before this fight, just in case, but I think we'll be fine. I mean, I hope. Alright, let's go. I think we can run away anyway, right? If we need to. I'll make sure. Just in case things... Nice miss. Alright, that's what I like to see. That's what I really like to see here. No, we can't. Oh, shit. Shoot. Shoot. Momo can pilot an, an ace. A, oh, you're talking about Cosmos. Never mind. I saw Co Momo. Bless you. All right. Um, let's play this the safe way. Boost one for Cosmos. Which of the three Xenosaga has the best combat? I like Xenosaga 3 the most, most because of speed. But this, I, I think this game's fun too. Xenosaga 2 has some interesting things about it, but there's a lot of really annoying things about it as well. How much damage do you do with with this? Yeah, our blade's gonna be good enough for this. Alright, that's nice. Perfect! Perfect! Yeah, we'll win this really easy. Really easy. Give her that crit turn. Give me the crit turn. Alright. And you're not gonna crit anyway, are you? You're gonna troll me by not critting. There we go. This one's boosting up. Alright. Heat wave. Nice miss. Nice miss. I'm so good. Calculated. 
Hell cannon, nice, nice block. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and give her one more turn with she on here. She's not doing anything useful to me. Give me that crit turn again. We're gonna make sure we try to finish it on the skill point boost turn. I should be able to. Does this thing get a boost every time you boost? I don't remember all the gimmicks for these fights, but that's twice it's boosted after I've used my boost. That could actually be annoying, because my strategy was to boost up. Ooh, that's actually a lot of damage. I guess we're going to put Xion on healing duty now. Hmm. How much do Aether attacks do to this thing? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, physical attacks are the way. Alright, Xion, you're going to be healing from now on. Or at least healing once. I might have to use an Aether pack on you. Medica all... Chaos won't get anything, but Cosmos and Xion will both get healed from this. Yeah. See, just from boosting Xion's Aether, the healing is actually much more significant now. It went from like 160 to 220, which is pretty dang good. Alright. 200. Alright. I think we're almost done here. This R blade shouldn't kill, but then I'll use one on the skill point turn afterwards, and then that should be enough. Even if it boosts up here, that shouldn't matter, because I don't think anyone's gonna die here, unless he can do 241 damage to Xion. Yeah, it looks like this thing boosts in response to your boost. That's fine. We're gonna win anyway. Now I boost and reply to you. It looks like it attacks the person that boosts every time. That's fine. Okay, I win. GG. Easy fight. I I hope, anyway. Please do enough damage. You just need to do, like, 180 here, I think. Nice. Alright, perfect. Perfect! Give me the big skill point gain. Only times two. A little bad. Okay. Alright. Mm, eh, yeah, I would have liked more than times two, but that's fine, I guess. Tech upgrade Z. That was worse fighting anyway. We got a tech upgrade Z. Perfect. That's what I like to see. Tune circuit. Um, bless you. Why did you want me to put Momo in the lead here, by the way? You said something about doing that. To unlock an ability? Um, where? Where do I unlock it? I don't remember all of this stuff. Touching a glow ace. Okay. Alright, we'll swap her out for now. Man, I gotta do that. That's annoying. Alright, give me just a second. Up the stairs? Alright. It's a really weird way to unlock something. <laughs> Works for me, though. I wasn't planning on using Momo in combat much this game, though. Wonder what it could be. Battle armor exclusively with their 100 series observational realians? Mm -hmm. It seems a little suspicious, but it might come in handy for something. I'll take it for now. Learn Tech Attack Magic Caster. Learned Ether Star Wind. That's nice, actually. Okay. All right. Now she can steal from the boss. Hmm. I don't know if I want to use her against Gargoyle, though. She doesn't have the... I mean, I can swap her, right? You can swap in combat, right? Thank you for the subscription, Storm... Oh, thank you for the gifted subscription, Storm Waltz. I do appreciate it. Okay. Well, we did the little mini boss thing. That was the main thing I was worried about missing, so we can probably just continue heading on onwards for now. 
Not in the first game. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to use... I really want the two boost boost ones for Cosmos in the next fight. And having the two Medica Alls can't hurt either. Where am I supposed to go from here? Did I get lost? I'm supposed to go up those stairs, but how do I get to them? I'm, I'm, am I confused now? Uh, did I take a wrong turn or something? How do I get to those stairs? Oh, wait. Never mind. I'm stupid. Or am I? Where do I go? Hello? Oh, wait. Oh, duh. I didn't see this path. It's, it is too dark. It's too dark. The screen's dark. You guys are right. Yeah, if there was character swap, I would probably do it. But I don't know. I don't think I need that accessory. I really don't. It, it could be useful. I just don't think I need it. And I don't want to risk dying on freaking Gargoyle. Because that's one of the harder fights in this game, I think. And If I just play it the safe way. This is a different enemy type. We should fight it, actually. Just to see what it's like. Shion has no EP left. I'll have to give her something later. 800 enemy ogre. 800 health. Let's see. Alright, how much do these their attacks do? 95. Okay. Well, I'm guessing physical attacks do nothing to you. Let's just check. 36, but that was with Cosmos. So yeah, Aether attacks definitely do way more because Shion's Aether attack did 80 damage. Alright, cool. Yeah, Aether attack. Okay, this thing's extremely weak to Aether. Power charge, physical attack up. I think these things have really dangerous attacks, but that shouldn't matter. Because, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, it's dead. It's dead. It's dead. Charging. How far into the game am I? I'd say Gargoyle is about the halfway point, like, at least plot-wise and everything. Uh, it's not quite halfway gameplay-wise, I would say, but it's probably a little over halfway plot-wise. We, we will have seen more than half the cutscenes, but we will have not done more than half of the gameplay, if that makes sense. Sorry, I keep spoiling that the boss is Gargoyle. The The final boss in this... Or not the final boss. The boss in this area is called Gargoyle. It's not like a story spoiler or anything. It's just a Gnosis. But yeah, sorry for saying the name of it. There's another mini boss down there, it looked like. Guarding something. I'll probably try to get that too. I thought there was only one in this area, but maybe I was wrong. Your orders, Xion? Um, this puts me in a weird situation. I think we're fine if we just... I think I know it's... I think we're fine. It'll probably try to charge up, and we'll just be able to do this with x bust or with our blade here. Yeah, it's charging up. We win. Should be able to win. It shouldn't get another turn soon anyway. We'll have, have plenty of damage with our ether decks. Stop guarding me, man. I want to see Xion's big ether damage now that I gave her six more ether points with my skill upgrades. Give me that big spell rate. 230. Let's go, Xion. Let's go, Xion. Nice. That just one shot it, though. Xion's still not as good as Cosmos and Chaos. Feels okay? bad. Alright, that's fine. What was the first RPG to restore your health and resources between random encounters? I mean, probably an action RPG. Those are what... Action RPGs are the ones that normally do stuff like that. I don't want to fight you right now. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, I thought I was supposed to go that way. Alright. I don't want to fight you. I don't like you. T oh, save point. Wait, is this going into the encounter? I thought, okay. I probably don't want to be here yet, then. We'll go ahead and save, but we're going to head back. I want to explore the entire area before doing this. I am going to use a, um... I am going to use a, um, Biosphere, though, while I'm here. That'll give me a full heal on EP and everything. Get in the habit of using that when you see it, because otherwise you'll just never use your biospheres. Perfect. There we go. That's going to cover it for this episode of Xenosaga. Next time we are going to continue exploring the giant gnosis we were swallowed up by, 
and see what else this place has to offer to us. See you guys then.